Okay, so this recipe is 100% plant-based, which means it's fully vegan. And this is also known as ITAL in the Jamaican region. And I'll explore that a bit more with you later. Okay, so this is another favorite dish of mine to make and it's fondly named the Rasta Rundown. Um, and it's made up of what we call hard food in the Caribbean. Now hard food is basically starchy foods. So here we've got yam, it's the starchiest of all of them. We've also got sweet potato. Um, you can get white sweet potatoes as well as the orange looking ones, but we've got the orange ones today. Um, we've also got a ripe plantain which looks like a banana, but tastes like a sweet potato. And we've also got an unripe plantain, which again, looks like a banana, but tastes, I guess, more like a normal potato. So these are what's going to be going into our lovely Rasta Rundown, which is a simmered coconut stew. Okay, so some people like to peel these items before they boil them. Um, I actually just find it easier to do it afterwards because the skins are softer after they've been boiled, so it's just a lot easier for it to come off. So I'm just gonna chop up the yam first of all. And it's quite starchy, so you do just need to put a bit of welly into it when you do so. Um, now this dish, uh, is inspired by a lovely memory I have in Jamaica where I went trekking in the mountains uh, with a Rasta man named Fire. Um, and because he's a Rastafarian, he follows the vegan Ital diet. And we basically hiked through the hills in a uh, village really close to where my granddad grew up. Um, and we picked up, foraged little bits here and there, naturally grown organically from the land. And everything we picked along the way, whether it was sweet potato, plantain, fresh herbs, spring onion, everything made its way into the dish at the end. And it was just the tastiest, most wholesome meal I've ever had in my life. And uh, this is me trying to recreate that, so. Um, and again, with the plantain, I wouldn't bother peeling it till it comes out. It just falls off a lot nicer after it's been boiled. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. There we go. I've cut up the yams smaller because they take longer to cook. If they're smaller, they'll cook more quickly. The sweet potatoes take the second longest to cook. Then the unripe plantain, and what will go in very last is the ripe plantain. So I'm just gonna pop those over uh, onto the boil now. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to put in the yam and the sweet potato. They will boil together for 10 minutes. And after the first 10 minutes, you're going to add in the unripe green plantain. And after a further 10 minutes, that's when you'll add in the last bit, which is the ripe plantain. So 10 minutes at each stage, boiling in total for half an hour. Okay, so the hard food has come off of the boil now. It's been 30 minutes in total. I'm just gonna drain that. And it's just a lot easier, I find, to uh, basically peel it once it's been boiling. So do leave it for a moment because it will be piping hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay, so you're just gonna let that cool down for a minute or so. And then it's just gonna be really easy now to uh, peel off the skins. It's a lot easier than doing it before. You see, they just cut, came off in one go. This is the sweet potatoes and the skin is literally just falling off, which is lovely, what we like to see. And then with the plantain, the right plantain, I would suggest just scoring down the side and that just makes it nice and easy to just peel it away. Ooh, there we go. And the same again with the green plantain, so you're just gonna score down the side and then that will just peel away nicely. And you can see the difference between the, uh, the right plantain and the green one. This one's a lot harder. This one's yellow and really soft. And then lastly, just going to, with the yams, it's really quite stuck on and it doesn't peel away as easily as perhaps the sweet potato would. So if you do have a peeler or a knife, you can just peel it away as well. The outer skin, it's quite barky and woody on the outside, but nice and starchy like a potato on the inside. If you overcook yam, it can get quite sticky as well. Um, the flavor's still lovely, but it's just not necessarily the, the right texture that you want. And so now we're just gonna chop these up into some nice small bits. There's no sort of rule, just nice chunks and just whack them back into the pan, which has obviously been drained now. Just again, just some nice chunky bits of sweet potato and drop these into the pan. And then again with the yams, 
just get off any of those barky bits that you didn't get off the first time. And then again, it's just chopping them up into some nice chunky little bits. And that goes into the pan as well. So before you drop it on to simmer, you're going to add um, a bit of red onion and also some garlic. So I'm just gonna chop those up now. Just, I'd say about half the garlic will be absolutely fine. And I'll scoop that up and I'll add that in. And then I'd say about half a red onion. Won't need any more than that. I'm just gonna peel the outside skin off. And then just finely chop. And then I would just cut it in half again and just add all of these bits in as well to the mix. And then that will go onto a nice low simmered heat. Then you're just gonna add a very small amount of olive oil. Okay, so we're gonna simmer this for about 15 minutes in some coconut milk. Gonna use about half of a tin. Okay, so while that's simmering, we're gonna to start to add more ingredients. Um, these are real staple ingredients for many Caribbean recipes. We're going to use this fresh thyme, which we've picked from the garden today. Also got some pimento beans here. Now pimento is also known as allspice. Um, it's a really big green leaf that has these little buds at the bottom and um, it's often ground and people know it as allspice, but this is a pimento bean. Um, and the great thing about pimento, especially when you're trekking up the hills in Jamaica where there's lots of mosquitoes, if you rub it on your skin, it's actually a really good mosquito repellent, as well as being a really tasty herb. We've also got some nutmeg here, which we're gonna shave a small amount in. Literally just a few grates of it will go in. That will add a nice warm texture to it, to the flavor. Um, and then lastly, we've got the mighty, mighty Scotch bonnet. Um, this is a pretty fiery pepper, one of the hottest you can get actually. We'll just be popping it on top. We won't cut it open because that will just have our mouths absolutely on fire. We'll just let it simmer naturally on top of the, uh, the coconut milk. Occasionally it will burst, but that's the, uh, the surprise and fun of cooking with scotch bonnets. So you just want to get one or two sprigs of thyme and just drop that in. A very small pinch of the uh, allspice berries will go in. Get some nutmeg, and you're just gonna shave in a really, maybe, yeah, I think I was about 10 little grates there. Just gonna add a little bit more coconut milk. And lastly, the mighty Scotch bonnet pepper. That's just gonna sit on top, and I'll get a lid on it. So you just bring the lid off, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. Um, you might want to check on it halfway through because if it's reduced too much, you might want to just add a little bit of water. But uh, what we've got here is the perfect rasta rundown. And we're going to be serving it up in my little calabash bowl here. This is actually, mum, what is a calabash? Calabash, gotta look it up. <laughs> got a fact checker over there. <laughs> so it is a tropical tree and it's growing like a vine. So, and it's kind of like melon. Yeah. Okay. That explains the shape. So, like a melon in shape, but I guess sort of like a pumpkin-ish in yeah, consistency. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this was gifted to me by uh, a lovely Rasta man named Fire. Um, he only ever eats his dinner out of a calabash bowl. Because of his Ital vegan Rasta lifestyle, absolutely every aspect of his life is as natural as possible. That includes his crockery. So rather than china plates, he eats everything out of a natural calabash bowl. So we're going to plate up in this very special bowl. So all the plantain and the sweet potato and the yams have just gone lovely and soft and they've just sort of melted amongst the, the coconut rundown. We're gonna leave the scotch bonnet out of it because it will be absolutely scalding with heat. And just fill that up. And this is something perfect to eat on an autumn or winter's day when you just want something really wholesome, really fresh, really healthy. And here we have it, the vegan Rasta Rundown. Come on, Mum. 
It's gonna be really hot, Mama. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Proud of you, girl. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to check out the rest of our videos and like, share and subscribe. And if you can't be bothered to cook these yourself and you want to come check us out in person, just make sure you're following Lime Hut London.